Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Classic Physique has wrapped up at the 2024 Mr. Olympia, and Chris Bumstead has walked away with his sixth Olympia title. And not only that, but on the Olympia stage, Chris Bumstead has officially announced his retirement from the sport of bodybuilding, and man, one hell of a career. Outside of the great Arnold Schwarzenegger, without a doubt, I think Chris is the most popular bodybuilder of all time. And at some point, I will do a longer form video on Chris Bumstead's retirement and his career. But for now, congrats on the sixth time and the career. This was a great classic physique Olympia full of surprises. Chris Bumstead did walk away with the win, but in my personal opinion, this was his toughest Olympia win. And that was because of second place Mike Sommerfeld, who truly brought it to this year's Olympia. Everything we saw online more than translated to the stage. This is the best Mike Sommerfeld we have ever seen. If Mike came into prejudging how he was at finals, we could honestly be having a different conversation right now. Third place, Eris Kalasinski, which we will talk about later. Fourth place, Ramon Dino, he pulled it together. And in fifth place, we had the Black Swan, Breon Ainsley. Arguably, Breon could have been in fourth and Ramon Dino in fifth. Congratulations to all of these guys, and Ramon took the fourth place like a champ. I just said if Mike came in to prejudging how he looked at finals, we could be having a different conversation right now. And honestly, guys, I don't think I'm exaggerating. Mike Summerfield is the closest I've ever seen any guy come to beating Chris Bumstead. I honestly prefer Mike in the front double bicep as well as the ab and thigh. Even the comparison on the back double bicep, I was like, oh my God, is Chris Bumstead actually beatable? Mike truly brought 100% to this show, and with Chris retiring, it's very possible that this guy could be Classic Physique Olympia champion in the very near future. And again, I want to give another congratulations to the champ Chris Bumstead because this was definitely a well-deserved win for his sixth Olympia title. Chris was not 100% at prejudging, but at finals, he definitely tightened up. It's possible that last year was the best Chris Bumstead we've ever seen. That's just my personal opinion. Even in the upper body when he was hitting the most muscular shots, I don't think Chris had as much volume. But it's possible that Chris knew he was going to retire and that kind of bothered him this prep. I honestly knew Chris was going to retire just by seeing the expressions on his face. And the first thing he said was, you guys already know what's coming next. But let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Chris Bumstead's retirement. Also, your thoughts on Mike Sommerfeld who just came in here and shocked pretty much everyone. And next, let's talk about our third place finisher in the Classic Physique Division at the 2024 Olympia, and that is none other than the Miracle Bear, Eris Kalasinski, who brought an incredible package. This guy pretty much came out of nowhere. Eris posted almost no updates this entire year. He got beat by Breon earlier in the year, and I'm pretty sure that bothered him. And at the press conference, he said he did not like his placings earlier in the year, he went back to the drawing board and he brought a truly better package. And I think the biggest improvement that Erz made from 23 to 24 was his back. I know he still doesn't have a world-class back, but trust me guys, thickness has definitely been added to the upper back. And Chris Bumstead is now retired. The Classic Physique Olympia title is wide open. I'm pretty sure when everyone heard that, they got excited because now is anyone show to win. It could be Mike Sommerfeld next year. It could be Erz Kalasinski. Maybe Wesley Vissers can get back into that mix, or even Ramon Dino, who we're going to talk about next. So, as we mentioned in the prejudging video, Ramon ended up fading pretty bad. His tan was running everywhere. He did get to go off stage, dry off, and come back. Looked a lot better battling against Breon Ainsley. But I do think there are a few things Ramon should be worried about. And first, Breon Ainsley could have definitely beat him at this show. Breon brought an incredible package. And second... I don't think this was a bad version of Ramon. Outside of him fading, Ramon's posing was light years better than what I've ever seen before. So I'm worried because I don't know what's wrong. I think the other guys just came in really, really good. Even if Ramon Dino did not fade, I don't think he was going to knock off Urs Kalasinski or Mike Summerfield today. Those guys just brought incredible packages. But I'm excited for the future with Ramon Dino. He seems to be upset after the Arnold and worked pretty hard for this O. Now let's talk about our fifth place finisher, the Black Swan of Breon Ainsley. And as I've said numerous times, he could have very well ended up in fourth place. And I don't think I've said this before, and of course, this is not to discredit Gilco Productions who recorded this video, 
but I actually believe that Breon Ainsley looked better than what we're looking at right here. Trust me guys, he truly brought it. And Breon is now officially the Dexter Jackson of the Classic Physique division. I'm not sure if he will ever win another Classic Physique title. Maybe now that Chris Bumstead is gone, but Breon is going to be in that top five, making it hard for guys, at least for another couple of years. And who would have thought we would get to see Chris Bumstead retire before 40 plus year old Breon Ainsley. And with Chris retiring, we are going to hate to see him go, but this does bring a lot of excitement to the division again. The Classic Physique title is wide open, and I'm pretty sure all of these guys are going to work just a little bit harder with hopes of becoming the next Classic Physique Olympia champion. But just to recap, Chris Bumstead did win his sixth consecutive Olympia title and also retired from the sport of bodybuilding. In second place, the best Mike Sommerfeld we've ever seen. Third place, all-time best Ernst Kalasinski. Fourth place, Ramon Dino. Fifth place, Breon Ainsley. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. This was one impressive, shocking, surprising Classic Physique Olympia. And if you have not done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.